What is up, AGZ gang? Yes, sir. Now, y'all boys. Y'all boys showed the last video love, and you showed the video that came up before that love. Yes, I did double upload yesterday, and I will do the same today. So, I did say in one of the videos, if y'all boys want to see a guide on how to use the mantra tables. Now, I don't go in depth, but I do have some information that y'all boys would love to see that includes how to, you know, customize some spells. I do what know what some spells you know how you can edit them so i will relay that information onto y'all boys but yeah if y'all boys really 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 appreciate the information in this video hit that like button i want at least 500 likes in this video bro all the other mantra table guides are really vague and i understand why because they don't want every player running around with you know good stuff anyway <laughs> enough of that y'all boys hit the like button let's get to 500 likes i uh, hit the subscribe button if you need to the channel we're gonna get right into this Play my intro! Okay, so we are at uh, Etria and we are at, you know, the mantra table inside of the shop where you buy your magic stuff. So, um, now I have most of my skills edited uh my rising flame i put the cloud stones and some rush stones on that bit uh the cloud stones just make it so it has a larger aoe uh as you can see from that move um flame assault my, that lagged but my flame assault has some crystal lenses on that bit so i go further usually flame assault will take you like from here to about here but mine obviously takes you a bit further um and my flame palm has range on it as well uh, my flame palm has a decent range and it has some cloud stones on it etc don't want to talk to people uh so i'm gonna ignore them and yeah that's basically it you see the flame palm has some nice range has some good aoe on it so uh that has all been customized all right so i do have some mantras uh, mantra and modifiers in my inventory which i will quickly go over i don't have all of them so i can't talk about all of them uh so aeon logstone aeon logstone makes effects last longer which is this looking one uh this is good for things like gale wisp fire wisp make those last a lot longer i'm not too sure if it helps graceful flames but you could put it there anyways test the waters see how that goes um i feel like there's someone running towards me y'all boys beware when they see high level players people like to attack um eternal logstone is just a better ver better version of aeon logstone which means it's more effective as well as that before we get on to the next one y'all boys please 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 okay so i know some shadow stuff um need you to the more you put like these editors on your abilities the more ether it's gonna take majority of the time and if you stack too many um edits on top of your abilities you will need knowledge so i have zero knowledge and obviously you're able to edit a lot of people say you can't edit um abilities with no knowledge clearly that's a lie however if you want to do advanced edits or stack a bunch of different things on top of your abilities you will need a high amount of knowledge just remember you'll get once you're on the mantra table and you don't have a high amount of knowledge it'll say knowledge required and you don't want to get that because it means that you wasted your ingredients okay as well as that if you don't know how to um edit so quickly you're gonna come campfire uh let's say i have a graceful flame recall mantra recall graceful flame graceful flame will be here and then i don't know you're gonna put some log stones on it if you want to change the name of graceful flame you can so i'm gonna change it to healing flame heal flame i said healing flame and anyways heal flame okay that lagged but as you can see mantra granted and where is my oh is that here <laughs> so now that i've edited it it takes a lot more to cast it now x c v z and here we go uh heal flame 
you know? It's the same thing as Graceful Flame. It just lasts a lot longer now. We're just going to let that burn, though. Nothing crazy. Heal Flame, uh, which was Undying Flame. Undying Flame, which was Graceful Flame a minute ago. So, moving on to the rest of the list, because, you know, I've told y'all boys everything you need to know as of right now. Uh, Drift Shot makes mantras mainly projectiles more faster. So, if you have a Grand Javelin or... Maybe you have a Shadow Meteor. If you put Drift Shard and Rush Shard on it, it will cast faster and it will move faster through the air. Uh, Rush Shard is just a better version of Drift Shard. You got Crystal, Crystal Lens and Perfect Lens. Crystal Lens increases the range of weapons. Perfect Lens uh, is a better version of that. We have some Drift Shards here, but I've edited all my skills, so no point. Uh, now we have Cloudstone. Cloudstone makes your effect larger in size. Larger in size. So again, raising flames. Look how big that is. Huge. Um, again, be wary. You can't add too many different edits if you have low intelligence. Uh, so be careful there. Uh, we have Citrus Stone or Strat Strat Stratus Stone. Whatever you want to call it. Better version of a Cloudstone. Oh, wait, is it? I actually had no idea. I think I had some Shadow Stone before. Anyways, that's an L. Um, Driftwood, Asthmatic Driftwood, removes all mo modifiers on a mantra. So if you want to, you know, reset the edits on it and make a new one, the Driftwood will help with that. I think you only need one of them, though. So, you know, you got a lot to play with there. Vibrant Gem uh makes flames burn more intensely and he makes ice freeze people look for longer um etc so i guess it makes the burn effects on flame a little bit better too i don't know if it makes ice freeze people for longer slash better i feel like you should put that on your ice abilities that'll go crazy um uh, and as of right now that's actually all i have the information for but i will let you know some information so wind gun if you have a wind gun and you have a multiplying spark uh the multiple i don't have any i dropped all of them yesterday multiplying spark you know obviously multiplies the amount of wind guns that come out so it's more like a rapid gun at that point wind rapid gun um as well as that if you have a tornado spark and you have your shadow user on shadow blades it will do the 12 uh, at the end of the shadow blade it'll do a little tornado twirl at the end of that uh what else we got uh the blast spark if you are also a shadow user please beware because this one is crazy so shadow gun if you've seen um if you've seen people use shadow gun and it has multiple guns shoot all over the place like a sarah you know what i'm saying like you're playing bleach uh, put one blast spark on it. Now, you can put multiple. However, if that's only if you have high knowledge. If you don't have high knowledge and you put more than one blast spark, <laughs> you will need knowledge and you will lose all your blast sparks. Uh, I Beware as well. I feel like that's kind of for late game stuff because you're, you need... Uh, it drains a lot of ether. <laughs> it drain, if you use that move, make sure you have either a lot of ether or you're about to one shot someone or it's a really good combo extend you got going on over there because it drains everything out of your ether i kid you not um so i've talked about the shadow shadow blade shadow gun and wind gun those are the only things i know that are not you know kind of basically obvious um i don't know what reversal spark round spark does spring spark uh my flame leap would be higher with flim um spring spark but I don't really want that mainly because, you know, four damage does exist. Uh, and yeah, I hope y'all boys have found this guide. Well, it's not really a guide. It's kind of basic, uh, quicker, quicker, useful. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I will, when I'm, oh shit, <laughs> we're going to log there. But, uh, when I'm editing, I will, uh, you know, <laughs> I'll try add like descriptive text for each of the stuff I talk about just in case you don't understand me or my accent is too British for y'all boys. And the reason I logged there is not because I couldn't take him, it's because I've been talking. 
okay and when you're talking it kind of distracts you i didn't want to give y'all boys a fight today and i have good reps so i don't want to get into it so um i do have a just announcing what i'm going to upload in a couple hours i do have a what you will call it video coming out later it is a ganking video ganking video a luck ganking video i don't know what i'm gonna name it as of right now because this is being recorded the day before a, a whole day later but i'll think of a name a whole day later a whole day before the video even comes out but yeah no um went crazy i went on a little luck ganking spree i'm going to talk about it more in the intro to my, tomorrow's video tomorrow's video the next video which is in a couple of hours but yeah i went on a little i wanted to i need to get my luck up so i spent like an hour just switching servers um at hive and um minute minute the snow island um trying to beat up people and get their luck bro and it went well unfortunately i didn't really record until like the last ganking session but it is what it is I, when i play deep Woken, i don't really record again you might hear me repeat what i just said in the next video but it's cool anyways if you made it this far into the video put the revolver effect in the comment section down below i came clutch for y'all boys i know a lot of y'all boys don't you know uh don't actually like the videos when you watch it and y'all don't subscribe because yeah there's a lot of new people on the channel and the subs aren't showing for it but it's cool you know what i'm saying for some reason nobody likes me but you know what i'm saying i ain't tripping on that the grind never stops i love my adc gang members that do rock with me we're finna go crazy this year i'm gonna see y'all boys in the next one